Hello one and all, how you all doing? Hope you're doing good today and welcome to Half-Life. Yes, the first one that I should have played in the first place. I am really sorry about that, but I am one of those people that play the sequels first. Assassin's Creed 2, for example. <laughs> anyway, we are doing the training level. Jesus Christ, that's loud. Let me turn that down. Hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended up ahead of you. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate certain moves. Okay. Just check everything smoothly. Up, down, up, down. Yep, that's fine. There it is. Oh, the graphics. But I'm so glad it's working on my OBS video recording software, guys. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV Protective System for use in hazardous environment conditions. Ooh. Is it? Ooh, Jesus Christ, you made me jump. <laughs> around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement and soon it will fit you like a second skin. I will see you just around the corner. I think I'm more than comfortable in my HEV suit tie if I play in here practice, haven't I guys? For those of you that have watched my Half-Life 2 series, you are legends. If you haven't, I will put a link in the description for the playlist. It's on the Oldie But Goldie playlist. Can we go? So we can't go through any doors. Okay then. practice in the hazard course is basic Ooh. jumping you will attempt to get over this set of pipes using only your run and jump commands it helps to get a running start watch me and then try it yourself Gordon in this is very slippy slide isn't he look how he goes left and right compared to the second game one two three that sounds like Kleiner is that Kleiner I can't zoom in. Oh, that sucks. You will now duck under the next set of obstacles. Please note that crouching will automatically shift your suit into stealth mode, minimizing movement noise. Bloody hell, she's got fangs. Did you see her teeth? <laughs> One, two, three. Very good. I hardly noticed you. On to the next really? Day. I'm like a leopard. I'm orange and black and, you know. Okay, never mind. Now we will combine. Skills. I'm in a suit. <laughs> you will need to jump, duck, and then jump again. Easy. This will prepare you for the next room where you will have to do both moves at the same time. That's fine. So, one, two, and three. Good work. You will look prepared for the next session. Sweet. Thank you. To get into these pipes. You Ooh, have to steal hello. your suit to make a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe and continue to press forward. Then jump up, and while you're in mid-air, go into a crouch. It's tricky, but you'll find it comes in handy. I think I can do it. One. One. Nice one. And two. And three. Nice job. Thank you. And through here. This is odd training. What the hell was that sound? Oh, it's me. Okay. That is weird. Why can't I go around the... Oh, thank you. Walk directly into the ladder. It sounds like a guitar. Continue moving forward. If you want to come back down, just move backward. Well, I'm done. Well, do I have to do it again? I'm sorry, should I have let you um, speak? Do you want to go back down again? Oh, okay, thank you. The next three <laughs> jumps get harder each time, but they are quite possible. Don't be surprised if you miss the last one a time or two. If you can make all three in a continuous run, you are doing well. Okay. By the way, guys, when I do start eventually playing the, obviously, the main story, I will be doing it... Uh, chapter in chapters so one video will be just each chapter basically so early up hey there we go 
work. There's one more style of jumping. So yeah, a chapter per video. Long jumping requires its own charging module. To activate your long jump, oh. you have to duck and move forward and then launch into a jump. Once you're up on the platform, press the button and I will demonstrate the move. All right. Okay, so hold, so move forward. Mm. Ah! Nice one. Wait, could I get up there? No, I'm not going to try it. I don't think there'd be any Easter eggs or anything like that. <laughs> well, the running's faster in this than the second one. I should be saying that, should I? <laughs> Start the lift by moving up to the button, looking at it, and pressing the use key. Simple enough. Ooh. Now that you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit it. If you take any damage from the fall, we will administer medical care at the next station. Okay. Ow, 79, wonderful. <laughs> ah, here we go. You will find med kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa compound. Yep, to done. restore your health, walk up to a med kit and press your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you are at full health or the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. I know. I'm so sorry guys that I've not played this one first. I just, I really want to play on the second one more than this one. Bin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Alright. Oh, okay. Yep. Fantastic. Nice one. Oh, I've noticed a difference. Gordon constantly runs in this one, whereas if I hold the shift now, he walks. Whereas in the second one, shift is to run. There's a bit of a difference. Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just your suit to get through a tight place. Try jumping this gap on your own. What oh. you really need to do is push that box down into the pit. Pushing is easy. Just move forward against the box and you can push it into position. Did I do any of this at the second Half-Life? I don't think I pushed anything. I would have remembered. If you can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key to keep a grip on the box, move slowly backward. The box will come along with you. All right, so E and then backwards. Oh, okay, and oh! Bloody hell, he's Hulk! <laughs> he's the Incredible Hulk! <laughs> right, so, ah, oh, they are perfectly lined. Two, three, let's go! There it is, guys! The famous crowbar. And he's quicker with this. Break and crouch. Okay. The training is quite good, really. Activate for a starter. Oh. The uh, flashlight isn't better. That's definitely improved in the second one. Oh, I don't like Great. ground flashlights. Remember your flashlight drains power. So switch it off when you don't need it. Okay. Welcome to the Black Mesa Hello. Target Range. My forte. Where you will receive <laughs> training in firing a weapon, reloading, and firing the attached grenade launcher. Please pick up your weapon and advance to the firing oh, station. Oh, I have. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me everything. God, the guns are so detailed for, is it 1998? You'll have to hit every target in this order to complete game? the course. But if you miss the first time, don't worry. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire button. Certain targets will break only when hit by grenades. Okay. Commencing sequence in five, four, three, two, one. One. Where? Damn it. Damn it. 
Damn it. Got it. You have completed the Black Mesa target range. Please advance to the next area. This is a cool training. Your HEV suit monitors blood oxygen levels, warning you when you need to find an air supply. As you swim through this course, your oxygen levels will begin to drop. At the midpoint, you will be given an opportunity to surface for air. Right. Yeah, it's really cool this training for a video game. Because I've had many training levels and some of them can be quite boring. Catch your See the blood oxygen indicator on your ah. suit's heads-up display returning to its previous level. You are free to swim on to the end of the course. Okay. Here we go. It sounds like we're nearly done. This is the charging unit for your hazardous environment. There it suit. is. Suit armor. When you are running low on power, step up to any charger and press your use key. Your suit will be charged. Charge your suit. Done. If you pass through fire or steam, you will see a heat damage icon lighting up. Okay. Directional indicators at the center of your display show you where damage is coming from. Right, let's have a look then. Ah, uh, oh, I see, yeah. It's, it's like the second game. Ah, uh, whoa. Proximity to radiation. Activate the Geiger counter and radiation display. Biohazards are also indicated with a luminous icon. Oh my god, okay, let's jump. Hazardous radiation levels detected. advance to the next yep. area. Okay. This is cool, guys. I like it. The graphics are... They're not too bad, are they, really, for a 90s game? security guard into the next room he will let you back into the transit system you must approach a guard and press your use key he will follow you until you face him and press the use key again yeah but i walked up to him and he does want to be my friend sure i'll follow you okay here we go access denied hi so what's on here oh I can't read it. Let's go. Whoa, what the hell? Press your use key to engage the train. Press your forward and backward keys to increase or decrease the speed of the train. Press your use key again to disengage from the train. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. This is interesting. Very interesting. Congratulations. Hey, we're done. <laughs> you are now fully certified for use of the HEV Mark IV protective system. All right. Well, guys, like I said, it's a chapter per video, so that means this chapter's done. It's the training chapter. So if you like the video, I know it's only short. I'm very sorry about that. But if you like the video, like and subscribe, favorite and share to everyone. I shall see you all in the next video. Take care and bye for now and have a great day.